Hey guys, what's up? So today's Sunday and we're just about to go out to the grocery store, probably Walmart, and then to pick up some food. And yeah, today I'm cooking. I'm cooking some salmon for myself. And then I'm also gonna make some fettuccine. Well, not even fettuccine, because I'm using penne. So penne Alfredo today. So yeah, I just need a few ingredients. I have mostly everything, but I wanna put spinach in it and maybe sun-dried tomatoes, because we both like spinach and some dried tomatoes and our um, Alfredo, so that's what we're about to do. We're at the gas station right now, just pumping in some gas. Brian is just not in the best mood today. You know, things are happening um, that he can't really control, so yeah. Um, it's kind of sad right now. I don't know how it's going to be on the vlog today, but we'll see. So yeah, anyways, yesterday was Saturday and me and two other girls we drove up to Waco for the Baylor and Texas game and we ended up winning yay finally so that was that the ride wasn't bad at all it was only like an hour and a half so yeah and then when I got home honestly I knocked it out because I didn't even sleep the night before because I had to wake up so early I did not sleep at all so got home super early and I knocked out super early but yeah I'll talk to you guys all when Brian comes back so guys, we're doing a little bit of shopping in Walmart. Walmart. Say hi, Brian. Um, so yeah, we just got a few things. Chips, got my salt and vinegar chips. He got all his popsicles and ice creams, which he loves so much. And he eats like a thousand before bed every night. <laughs> yeah. He literally, he literally eats like five popsicles before bed. And then they're all, all the wrappers are on the side of the dresser. Right, no. no. Yes, you do. Anyways, I gotta go to the hair section to find some stuff for my mom. She wants like the suave conditioners that I used to use back in the day. I didn't even know they still existed. But yeah, I have to get like the big suave conditioners for Aaliyah. And I think my mom uses them too, but I'm not sure. So that's where we're headed. So guys, these are the conditioners that I was talking about. Who else uses like a couple of years ago like i was on these suave conditioners like i used to buy these and use them all the time so yeah my mom told me to buy some for her so i bought these two for her they're really heavy so i don't know how how much this is gonna weigh my suitcase i'm probably gonna have to check in two bags but we'll see and then i also got this conditioner just to try out and mostly because it said coconut oil infusion so I might bring this one home, I might leave it, but I don't know if I can fit three of these in there without my suitcase being over, so we'll see. But I really want my mom or my little sister to try out this one as well, so yeah. And these are like $2 each. This is what I do, like when I want to co-wash my hair, I just buy like a cheap conditioner like this, and that's what I use to co-wash my hair. That way I save a money. But yeah, I also just finished cooking. I cooked all my meals for the rest of the week until I leave, so I leave Thursday, so I should have enough meals or like dinner food for the rest of the week. So let me show you guys what I made. So here I have some pasta with the Alfredo sauce and I put spinach in it as well. So we got that going. And I have chicken in there as well. So that's the Alfredo sauce with pasta. And then also have my vegetables, onions, bell peppers, asparagus. I have two of these because last time I did not make enough. And then my salmon. So this is going to be bomb for the rest of the week and I'm excited to eat right now. Today I'm going to have pasta with Brian. So yeah, I should be gravy for the rest of the week and yeah we're about to eat now and watch walking dead so it's about to be late hey guys what's up so i just finished eating some food i had my sandwich my peanut butter sandwich with the dave's bread which is so so bomb and then i also had a smoothie um the smoothie that i had 
was by Boathouse and it was the vitamin C one. It was really, really good. I don't even know if it's good for you, but it was so bomb. It had apples, cherries, mangoes, and pear. It was real good. Um, I would show you guys, but I'm too lazy to. I'm gonna look at it. So this is the smoothie that I'm talking about. If you guys can see it. It's really, really good. Like I said, the ones that you buy from the stores, you never know if it's really good for you. Honestly, is anything really good for you nowadays? I just don't know. So yeah, I have been itching to travel. Like, I want to travel so, 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 so bad. And I just don't know when I'm going to get to do that. Because I don't really want to go by myself. I want to go with somebody just because I'm a vlogger. I, I'm an influencer. I like to take pictures and all that stuff. Post it to my social media. And like I'm not going to always be asking a random ass person. Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And I feel like vlogs are just boring if it's just me. Even though I would obviously bring like a different light to traveling solo. Versus traveling to other people. With other people. But I just don't want to travel by myself. And if I do... It's just going to be to like a spot like in the Caribbean, like St. Lucia, Mexico, just somewhere not too far. But I want to go somewhere like far. Like I just want to see the world. Like that's just how I feel right now. I just want to, I just want to go. I just want to go. But I just have no one to go with. So I asked my friends earlier, I'm like, are we still doing South America in March? Because that's what we're supposed to do. But I just don't think that it's going to happen. We wanted to go to... Peru, we also wanted to go to Colombia, and I think those were our two destinations, but I don't think it's going to happen because everybody has things to do, everyone's trying to save and all that type of stuff, and then I was supposed to go somewhere with my mom, because you guys know I take my mom somewhere every year, well I started that tradition last year, and this year it doesn't seem like it's going to happen either, so we'll probably have to wait till like early next year to go, because when I come back, she's going to be leaving at the end of November to go to jamaica so i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do until the end of this year i know i'm going to atlanta in like mid early november but i really want to go somewhere like in december but i i don't know i don't know maybe something will come up but i doubt it but if not like i really want to go on a big trip in march like i want two big trips one in march and then one in november so next november we are going to Asia so we want to do like three countries um it's gonna be like a big this is supposed to be a big trip this is supposed to be our big trip of the year of 2018 which is a whole year from now like I cannot wait a whole year so it's gonna be like obviously all the girls Bonds, um Munchie, Shantae, Ruth, my sister wants to come and if anybody else wants to come then come through that's supposed to be our big trip we want to do well the places we have in mind right now are thailand of course um cambodia not malaysia i really would love to go to indonesia but um that's not really on it um what else philippines and singapore so that's like on our list right there so i have just been literally all morning looking up travel vlogs of different places just getting inspired writing notes and stuff like that because that's what i do whenever i'm getting like the travel bug i look at a bunch of different vlogs and then i write down what i want to do where i want to go who i want to see i do all of that so right now i'm doing thailand so i'm looking up different vlogs from thailand and writing down like destinations that i want to go to in thailand so we can like you know get a feel for the place um the feel for the culture and stuff like that and Thailand is not going to be, honestly, it's not going to be that expensive. Like, the most expensive thing is probably going to be our flight. And then once you get there, the combinations and the food and all that is really cheap. Like, I was even looking up um, hotels and stuff. You can get things for, like, $30, $40, $50. It's not bad at all. And imagine splitting that between three people or four or five, whatever it is. It is going to be good. So, <laughs> I'm super excited, but it's going to be a long time. So, Pretty much, I have in my notes right here. I just started, so come on. In my notes, I'm just having Thailand, and I'm writing down different things, and then I'm gonna write little bullets and write, you know, certain things about the place. So floating market is like a market on water, which is so cool. You can buy food, you can buy little trinkets, stuff like that. So I really want to go there and experience that. So the point of this is that. 
it gives you an idea of what you want to do when you get there and also when we have like our big group discussion about this trip um we all can bring something to the table and then we all can be like okay this is what i want to do too let's do this let's cross this off the list and you know it narrows everything down so it's just not a uh a meeting where it's like we don't know what we're doing still so we have to have an idea coming to the meeting with like my friends and stuff so that's how we kind of get things done and you know things are not confusing and yeah but if you want to travel with friends you definitely have to find like-minded individuals who are serious because traveling with friends and traveling with people in general can be super annoying because nobody wants to answer things people are just like ah, la 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 so you got to go with friends that are serious about traveling and this is not sponsored or anything like that i just want to get that out of the way but if you don't have those friends and you really want to travel and you know get out of your comfort zone i honestly i recommend going to one love travel club or like a travel club there's also travel noir there's honestly there's so much there's so much but i have had my experience with one love travel club and i absolutely loved it it was an amazing experience and i know other youtubers who were actually the host for these trips so i know mindy marley did two of them i know who else Julesy, she did one um as well as ooh evelyn from the internet and yeah she's actually doing another one to kenya so this is the site right here let me show you guys so this is the one love travel club site and up here on here they have like different destinations that they're that they're having so they're doing another south africa you guys know i did that one last year so nice like i would love to go back to south africa honestly um they're, they're having the philippines would love to go there but that's already in our list for november spain and morocco i really want to do this one but i'm like i already went to barcelona so i don't know but morocco was definitely on my list and the host for this one was actually jay ellis i think that's his name from insecure as well as what's that show on bt that i used to love so much with derwin davis and stuff like that was he on that i think it was i don't even know anyways from insecure that already passed though and then they had Cuba, they have Bali, um, Kenya, so, and they have Thailand. Definitely, if you're interested in traveling and you have no one to travel with, try one of these um, travel clubs. I would say the best thing about it is that you get to meet new people as well as they have, what do you call it, like payment plans. So you don't have to, you know, give up all the money all at once because that's a lot of money. Because there's trips here for like $2,000. 1500 depending on if you want a single single or double occupancy so it can be a lot of money but usually they put up their upcoming trips like six to seven months in advance or even further than that i don't know but then every month they'll take out a certain amount of money so therefore it doesn't seem like they're paying so much it adds up after a while but it's not so bad it's not like oh my god my pockets are hurting so the only thing i think is like hmm i don't know about that is that some of these trips to me, I don't think are worth the money that they have here. For example, Kenya, their Kenya trip, I was like, mm -mm, no, no, no. So their Kenya trip, they're only going from January 3rd to January 9th. And the prices for these, I'll show you guys. So the prices for these are almost $3,000 for a single occupancy and double occupancy is 2200 and this is all in us dollars and you're only going from january 3rd to january 9th you don't have all of your meals included all accommodations are included that's nice and your flight is not included so imagine a flight on top of this and africa flights like flights to africa are usually expensive if you're coming from like north america so to me i was like no that's not worth it at all because even if I was to go to um, Africa, I would not stay only for that long. You can definitely extend your trip because you don't have to leave when the group leaves. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, just like when I went to South Africa, me and my friends went earlier. For me, I just think that's a little bit too pricey for the amount of days that you're there and what you're getting. I feel like if I was to do my research and whatever, like I can do something a lot cheaper than that and I can go to more places so definitely have to do your research just don't jump into everything I feel like I'm already doing like a series to what I said about traveling but this is not it don't worry it's not it but I don't know I just it's just because traveling has been on my mind so I'm just sharing what's on my mind right now but yeah so I don't know I'm just on YouTube right now looking at travel stuff 
one of my favorite travel bloggers i follow him wait where is he i have to find him Las leblanc Las le Las leblanc something like that it's all fluffy alpaca down here now we're gonna die Yeah, so that's his YouTube channel. Um, I really like his YouTube channel. Like I like I'm being honest, like I'm not subscribed to a lot of how would I say like Caucasian YouTubers and stuff like that, but like his channel is dope and I love his whole travel stuff, like it's really dope. But yeah, anyways, I gotta I just cleaned up this room, I gotta clean it up again and I really wanna pack a lot of my stuff to go home since I am leaving soon. I don't want to bring the whole my whole closet with me because yeah I'm gonna be back and <laughs> I'm trying to bring a lot of my stuff over here instead of keeping most of my stuff over there because eventually I'm gonna be here and I just want to have all my stuff here so it makes the process a lot easier and then when I do end up moving down here I don't have so much stuff you know so I try to keep it at a minimal but honestly my closet in Toronto it barely has anything in it like it doesn't have that much stuff i have more stuff here than i do in toronto like clothes wise so yeah um, i'm about to go do that and then i'll see you guys later oh yeah another thing i didn't want to show you guys was this thing that i bought from pretty little thing i was going to show you guys this in another video but i don't know if i'm going to have the chance to do it so it's like a cinematic light up box and you can customize what you want it to say on there it includes 85 letters numbers and symbols for you to customize your sign and I think you can plug it into the wall and it kind of lights up and I have been actually looking for one of these so when I saw it on pretty little thing I'm like yes I will link it down below if they still have it <laughs> so these are the letters that it comes with as you can see so hmm what do I want to say I wanted to say I'm gonna make it say being nice I wonder if they have multiples of letters though. Okay, they do. They have like multiple vowels and stuff because people use like a lot of vowels or like there's a lot of vowels in words. So, so guys, this is how it looks. I did not put batteries in it for it to light up because honestly, these things slip out way too easily. Like you need tape or something to make it stick. It does not stay. Maybe there's a way that I'm doing it wrong, but it doesn't stay. Like it'll literally slide out from the sides. Like look, it's already slipping. So you have to be really, really careful, but I think this is super dope. I need a thumbnail now. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get cleaning up because look at the mess I just made. And I'm going to go chill with my man because he just got home, even though he's on the phone like usual. This guy just tried to sneak up on me just now because I had the windows open to get some light for my camera. But he came over here. Luckily, I already heard his voice because he's always on the phone and he's just stuck his face like this. I'm like, I see you. I already heard you. It's okay. I'm not scared. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys. Uh, I'm listening to Division right now and they have me in my feelings, like in my feelings. Like, I just dropped a little tear just now. Well, a couple tears because I'm just like, damn, this song is just speaking to me. Like, their whole album speaks to me, but no this song though body smile i don't know what it is i think it's the beat the way they're singing it and then also it's relatable in a sense as well i don't know i was thinking about like all my past relationships or whatever my past relationships and the one i have right now and like literally nothing compares to the one that i have right now because in my other relationships like i cried over the stupidest things like so much drama this and that and that but when it comes to my relationship right now with Brian, like, none of that happens. Like, I don't have drama like that. I'm not crying because of just dumbass shit, you know what I mean? Like, I'm happy. It's so weird. So, even though the song's not really about that, the song is kind of about I made you cry so many times, so I'm gonna make it up to you in the bedroom type of thing with love. I don't know, I just related it. It kind of just brought me back to, like, old times where I was, like, crying because I was in awful, hurtful disgusting relationships but where brian like the shit is, is not like that and just made me appreciate him even more like and appreciate our relationship and see that it's actually going somewhere like we don't do that bullshit like it's i don't know just having my feelings like oh my god like 
tears bro he came in the room just now and i'm just like babe this song is making me cry and then he just starts slow dancing me right in the middle of the room it's so weird but yeah i'll listen to this song body smile maybe you'll understand my pain or maybe you maybe you'll be able to relate just like i do but their whole album is amazing yeah anyways going back to my feelings Hey guys, so now that I'm out of my feelings, now I'm playing. Um, it's about, let me see what time it is. It's about 12.33 a.m. <clears throat> Brian is sleeping right now. I'm in the room, in my room, trying to pack still. Like I just don't know what to bring because I don't know if I'm going to end up going on vacation. I don't know when I'm going to be back and if I'm going to go on vacation before that. And I have a lot of summer clothes here as well as winter clothes, so I'm like... I don't know what to do and I don't want to like overpack to the point where it's like when I end up coming back I'm not to bring more stuff as well so I'm really trying to you know crack down on what I'm gonna bring and what I'm not gonna bring and yeah so this is the room right here packing 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 all of my stuff and then I have another bag of clothes which I don't know if I want to give it away this time or if i want to sell them because i have like a lot of new stuff with still tags on it and stuff like that and a lot of you guys are like you know you would buy it da, da, da. but i just don't know if i want to go through the hassle of um shipping them out and things like that so i don't know if you guys remember this jacket from my zaffle haul on my main channel like it's nice and everything but i already have a leather jacket so i don't need two of them so i'm definitely not gonna wear this one over the other one because i like the other one better so i'm giving this one away or i want to sell it because it's honestly it's brand new good quality everything like that i have these red joggers um that i'm most likely gonna give away as well because they're a little bit big like they actually are big and I got them in a smaller size, so I'm going to probably sell this or give this away as well. I'm also giving away another pair of joggers, and I actually really, really like these joggers. But they're so big, like misguided joggers run so huge. So they have like the motorcycle detailing over here, like the rib part, and gold detailing. And this is a size 2, okay, a 2 US. But they are big and I'm not even a size 2 at all I'm a size 4 but I noticed that their joggers run big so every time I order joggers I usually get a size down so I got size 2 and still these are so big like this is like a size 4 size 6 like honestly so yeah these, these are brand new as well I haven't worn these so I don't know if I should sell my stuff and like I can't use Poshmark because Poshmark is for the US, it doesn't work in Canada so I'd have to use Depop or I'd just have to make like a random site like on Instagram and just tell you guys to PayPal me and then I send out your stuff or whatever, whatever. I don't know what I want to do. So I'm still deciding but yeah this is going to be another bag that I bring home with me but these are just things that I'm not going to keep anymore so I have to decide if I'm going to sell them or if I'm going to give them away. So yeah, I feel like I'm like a ninja right now with this on my head or something. But yeah, I'm going to get back to cleaning this stuff up and packing some stuff and trying to figure out what I'm going to bring, what I'm not going to bring and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll see you guys all in Friday's vlog. Deuces y'all.